In my line of work, presenting the highest quality image is key. Start building your website today at squarespace.com. Use the offer code CARL to get a 10% discount. I'm Carl Taylor, and this is my Squarespace. So today we're going to talk about camera straps and camera bags and cases. Now, let's have a look at the camera straps. Here's the type of camera strap that would come with your camera. It's firm, it's rigid, it's not very comfortable. Here's what I would do with this and I would get yourself one of these, okay? These are fantastic. This is a quick release camera strap, comes off like so, and it's also made of neoprene, so it's nice and stretchy, really cushiony around your neck. Now, why do you want a quick release strap? Well, the reason is that when you're working with your camera on a tripod, you're tilting it left and right and up and down, you don't want that strap to be falling in front of the, uh, in front of the lens and getting in the way of your picture. So, it's a great idea to have the quick release. Um, if we look at the actual uh, quick release, really easy just to plug it in like so. And then, as I said, with that cushioning neoprene, it means that the thing is nice and comfortable around your neck. You've got that bit of spring in it that those rigid straps don't have. So even when you've got a heavy camera and heavy lens, this makes it more comfortable. <laughs> so let's have a look at camera bags. Let's start off with this little compact bag here. Now this sort of size bag is great for just one camera with a lens and maybe one extra lens or a flash gun and then a few accessories in the front pocket. Uh, it's a little bit small for the uh, stuff that I need to carry around but it's great for a few extra bits and bobs to carry about. Uh, one of the other bags that I've used for many years, uh, this one's been all over the world with me, is this Low Pro backpack bag. And this is just like a rucksack that you sling over your shoulder. And then inside, you've got quite a bit of room. Um, it has the Velcro dividers, so you can rearrange uh, the setup of your equipment inside the bag with the uh, Velcro dividers. You've got all these internal pockets for your memory cards, your filters, and your accessories, and even more pockets on the outside. So you can actually fit a surprising amount of stuff into those bags. Now, one of the disadvantages with this bag is that when you want to get the equipment out of it, you have to actually physically take the whole bag off, put it down on the floor, and open it up. Now, sometimes when you're uh, photographing in a really busy, hectic environment, you don't really want to put your bag down and leave it there, or if you're working uh, with uh, wet sand or landscape and it's damp or rainy, you don't want to have to put your bag on the wet floor. So, there's another type of bag that I've started using Using, and that is the low pro slingshots. Now this is the medium sized slingshot and it's similar to a backpack bag and it also has about the same amount of room as that one but it works slightly differently. Let me show you how. Basically you can put the bag over your shoulder like so and then you bring the uh, belt buckle around which uh, just gives you that extra bit of support and then you've got a backpack style bag. But what's different about these is that if you unbuckle it here you can just sling it around like this and it means that you can still access your camera gear and your lenses and bits and pieces from the top there. So it means that you can take your camera out and then you can start shooting, uh, but you don't actually physically have to take the bag off or put it down on a wet surface. So this can be quite useful and it can actually even work like quite a nice support to help brace yourself with the camera. So sometimes when I'm shooting, I'll keep one camera around my neck, another camera in here, and I've got all the stuff to hand. So fantastic uh, little bag setup that is. Now those low pro slingshot bags come in different sizes. Here's one that's slightly smaller if you've got less equipment, that one, but the same uh, sling round mechanism is exactly the same. Now for the more professional level stuff, uh, when we've got an assignment overseas and we've got a lot of uh, equipment to take with us, some of it's got to go in through checked in luggage. Uh, that's when you need to start getting onto these Pelican cases. Now you can see this one's pretty battered up. It's got security labels and airline labels all over it. This one's been around the world with me several times um, over the years and it's still going strong and these are pretty much indestructible. Uh, you've got all the room and the padding, put all your different equipment in, 
locks up like so. You've even got uh, little sections here where you can put padlocks on to keep it secure. And the baggage handlers can throw this about and you can be pretty safe, uh, well, pretty sure that the stuff will be safe inside. Now, that one there is a little bit too big to take on as hand luggage. One of my favorite ones, the new ones, is the uh, Pelican case, the 1510. Now, this one conforms to international hand luggage size. So you can actually carry this one on the plane with you uh, in most cases, not in every case, uh, but it's a great case because it's also got uh, the Velcro dividers inside or you can have the sponge uh, set up and you've got all these extra pockets for all your bits and accessories for your uh, filters, your batteries, your uh, cable releases, all that sort of stuff. You, again, you have your padlock options, but the other great thing about this case is this and it's the extendable arm and the wheels. Now when I'm working in cities this is fantastic because rather than carry that case around with me you can roll it around behind you and uh, that has been one of my favorite cases to work with recently. So that gives you a bit of a brief overview on some of the uh, camera straps and cases. Uh, there's lots of different ones on the market, lots of different ones that you can find in different sizes but hopefully that gives you a little bit of starter information to help you make your choice. My passion is photography. Whether shooting for clients or teaching students, the excitement of great photography never gets old. Check out my website for free training, a complete range of courses, and even photography workshops. Thank you for watching.